Now let us discuss about the actuator. Actuator is for linear motion, okay, linear movement, like it will go forward and come back. Okay. If we will see in some heavy truck or even some trucks that are using for changing the bulb on the road, okay, so to uh, make the movement like to pull something up, it is using hydraulics, okay, hydraulic actuator, okay, so doing linear movement, like if you want to uh, even in robotics arm, if you want to pull it up, like if you want to make a movement like this, you can use a actuator here. So there are three kinds of actuator. One is pneumatic actuator, one is hydraulic actuator, another one is electric actuator. Hydraulic actuator is the most popular one, but very heavy very expensive. If you will see the excavator of caterpillar, okay, you will see a number of this kind of hydraulic actuators, okay, very very powerful. It can pull a lot of things together, okay, so for doing, to perform this kind of things, hydraulic actuator can be used. In hydraulic actuator, it actually use some lubricant, like uh, if you have this chamber, and this tiny chamber and if you have the connection you will it will need less power to push it push it down like one shaft you will need less power to push it to pull it in this area okay pull something in this area but the problem is it will pull less than the push, but the power required in this place is low. Okay, so by using low power, it's doing heavy job in this place, and it also can be used in opposite way. One kind of hydraulic uh, motor used to push it. Okay, to push the lubricant here. Okay, so this is this is the most. Uh, popular widely used actuator and then the uh, pneumatic actuator pneumatic actuator you observe in the you, you know there are some red machines that is used for changing the tire if you will see the bottom you can see the uh, pneumatic actuator okay hydraulic actuator is very powerful but very expensive heavy weight for but for pneumatic actuator this is less powerful, but less weight, less expensive. But the problem is, you cannot get the accuracy. Like you know, in a pumper, if you press, you can press the air very easily. So air can be pressed very easily. So we cannot make the accuracy. Like how much I pushed and how much it it, it, it goes. Okay, so movement cannot be measured very nicely and for a numeric actually another problem is it can be rusted very easily so uh, should be built by that kind of material so that it cannot be rusted like uh, aluminium material okay but for uh, hydraulic actuator it usually don't get rusted because it is lubricant it also surrounded by the lubrication so it usually don't become rusted but the most interesting thing is electric actuator. In robotics, we really use electric actuator everywhere. Since it can be driven by 12 volt or 24 volt or, or uh, 48 volt, these are very, very popular for our robotics. In our Mongol Thread project, we used four uh, electric actuator for this project. Okay, So even we have built a, a waste depositor car from our company. So in that car, we also used electric, electric actuator since it was electric vehicle. Okay, so electric actuator is also becoming very, very popular in this current world. Now there are two interesting wheels here. One is macadam wheel, another one is uni wheel. Okay, this is a bit new type of wheels. It just arrived, but it actually not used for outdoor purpose. Still, it's using for indoor and robotic game competition or something like this. Okay, you can see 
there are free wheels on the wheels okay on the outer surface of the wheel okay so this is a very very interesting wheel okay the unif wheel this type of wheel can rotate in this way but if you push it can go on that way also okay because it has the free wheels on its body okay these are the free wheels free wheels free wheels okay so if you have a triangular chassis and if you use three wheels on it in any direction you want you can move like to move in this direction you will just run this wheel in this this way and this one in this way it will go in that way okay if you want to move this way you just need to run this one in this direction and this one in this direction this wheel will not rotate okay so if we we'll do like that it will move on that way so in any direction we want even if we we'll move this wheel in this direction this one in this direction and this one in this direction then it will start spinning on the same point okay very very interesting this but the problem is since the uh, outer units become stuck with some dust and some materials so it cannot be it cannot be used in outdoor surface okay but for indoor this is very very interesting wheel okay so a number of places where a number of competitions where you need to move your robot uh, how to say in a moment or in any direction you don't uh, you have to change the direction very fastly in to change the direction very fastly this kind of wheels uni wheels can be used okay and there is there is another mechanism wheel uh, on which like there are two mechanism wheels here if all these wheels spin on that way it will go forward but interesting thing is if if this wheel spin in this way this two spin in this way and this two spin in this way it will start moving on that way and if you do the opposite like it is spin in that way spin in that way spin in that way spin in this way then it will start moving on that way okay so these are the these are two very recently arrived wheel okay we also use this kind of wheels but again these are not useful for outdoor purpose okay for indoor purpose this can be a very very nice choice okay uh mind storm mind storm is another you know gaming lego uh, lego gaming tools okay that can be used you can also present your nephews and uh, niece they can play with this kind of things but this is also interesting for you we also have some mind storm lego you can see in this picture this robot okay so it's a new human and robot okay we have built not we, there is a manual we just assembled it and this robot could work okay very interesting so at least you will have some knowledge on uh programming you will have knowledge on uh working principle of a robot like this but the the sad part is lego is not allowed in any robotic competition okay in every robotic competition lego is forbidden okay so it can be you can use it for learning purpose okay but for competition it, it's it's not it's forbidden 